it's post-op day six and i know that i'm in the same shirt that i've been in um i washed it yesterday after my massage with my fajas and i put it back on it's just really comfortable and it's like one of the only shirts i own myself that's like really big and it just is very comfortable but i promise you guys i am washing it um but yeah so today is day six so tomorrow it will be a full week thank the freaking lords i'm so excited to be at a week post off um and i'm just excited for this to be over i'm tired of draining which i've been draining for about to be seven days and usually you only drain for like three to four days um but i've been draining for a lot longer and they say that that's actually not a bad thing my massage therapist telling me that it's actually really amazing that my body is still draining because that's going to get me better and better results in the long run since it's going to you know actually drain out all of the fluid in my body but overall for me it's making me literally miserable um i hate the draining it's probably the worst part of the whole surgery is the draining and yesterday i had a full mental breakdown it was really really bad i had watched a video before i got my surgery done of some girl saying that like the mental like toll that it takes you on is no joke and i completely agree if you are looking to get this just put this into mind that it is a mental toll on you because it genuinely like messes with your mental health like not being able to move much and not being able to do as much as you want to do and then like the whole draining i don't know what it is i just can't deal with it so like when i have to look at it or like especially when i get out of my massages and i'm like right freshly draining out i literally get so paranoid and like even though i know it's like good for me to be doing that it really messes with my head and i literally had a whole mental breakdown yesterday i like didn't even eat i was literally crying like it was really bad but we're doing better today and a lot of people were commenting saying that the reason why i was so like hyped up in my last video was because i was on like some sort of painkiller they were like oh it's because you're literally on they were saying a certain painkiller i have not been taking my pain meds i don't really necessarily like to take medicine at all um i took all of my antibiotics and all of my muscle ones but when it came to the pain meds i really only took them the first like day um then i moved over to tylenol i still have a lot of my pain killers left actually um but the only time i ever take them is if i get really sore in a massage so i've taken a couple for my massages but other than that i haven't even been taking my pain killers like i said the pain isn't bad um i don't think the pain is bad at all it's the uncomfortableness that's bad and it's like the the discomfort that's bad it's not the pain but yeah we're about to get our fifth massage i think it's our fifth because yesterday was the fourth so today is the fifth so we're getting close to nine massages and at nine is going to be my last one that's all i need that's what my doctor said as well as my massage therapist i know some people are different some people need more some people need less it really just depends on you but yeah i'm gonna drink some gatorade drink some water and get ready for my massage and i'll see you in a little bit And I always do like a little tiny massage to relax your nerve system before <laughs> we go in. Because lymphatic drainage is one thing and post-surgery massage is another thing. The lymphatic massage we combine with the post-surgery mm -hmm. because what happens is that we have to target and open the lymphatic nodes, but then we also need to massage afterwards in order to break any uh, tissues or any fibrosis that is start to form and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And when we drain you the same thing, we have to push all the fluid toward the incision and it's a combination of two things. Obviously the first day when we start the massage is very light because you just have surgery. But as we go, that um, body give us access to go a little bit deeper. Mm -hmm. This is lymphatic drainage right here. When I move in wave, 
mm -hmm. open the loop here, the inner area. Okay guys, uh, my mouth is literally blue because I'm drinking this Gatorade. I'm looking busted, okay? I just got out of my massage. We're in the, the towel. Um, but I finally got the okay from my nurse. Um, she just told me that I'm finally allowed to use normal wash. And I can say goodbye to this antibacterial body wash and use normal stuff and i'm so freaking excited my lips literally look blue um but yeah the massage actually wasn't as painful today she went super light because i told her i was like i'm so sore um i'm trying to like let you guys see me my room is a disaster but okay so i'm gonna get in the shower and i think since i'm i have one drain left my arms ended up closing but they are so swollen i don't know if you can see there's like a big bump right here they're so swollen if you guys know how lipo works basically once your drains close you're done with the draining but now comes the swelling and everything gets like super rock hard so she told me today she was like don't worry like it's gonna get really really hard and it's gonna feel really swollen in the next couple days but like it's just the healing process so my arms like yes they look amazing right now don't get me wrong but this is so swollen to how they've been the last couple days. So, I'm definitely not worried. I know it's part of the process. I know that I gotta wait at least six weeks to finally, finally see like a little bit of the results and at least three to kind of see it without no swelling because every day is different. You know, some days I might wake up feeling so snatched, so good. And then other days I might wake up feeling really swollen. So every day is different. It also is like storming so bad outside. But I just cannot wait to freaking get in the shower and scrub myself with some HLP especially. But just like some good soap. Because I've been, I hate the smell of that antibacterial soap. And they gave me like certain ones that I was allowed to use. But yeah, so I think today I'm going to wear my board. Which, um, the board is a lot more comfortable but you can't wash it. So the reason why I haven't been wearing it is because you're not really supposed to wear it while you're draining. Um, I'm going to see how this one is doing. A lot did come out through the massage and she wasn't even pushing on it. Um, but I'm going to just put like a pad over it and try and put that over everything. So we'll see. We shall see. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. My post-op is in not tomorrow, but the next day. And I have another massage tomorrow. Tomorrow will be my my sixth massage. And like I said, my doctor advised me to get nine. If I want more, I can get more. It's really just my preference. Also, this is like the cutest thing ever. Cora is like so worried about me, but she literally is in here for all of my massages. Like she'll just come. Baby, hi. She literally will just sleep under the blanket or just lay here until I'm done. Hi, you look gorgeous. I love you. I think she's really like getting really sad. Are you okay? She's very like an emotional dog. If you guys know about Italian Greyhounds, you know. But I think she's just been really sad lately, like trying to understand what's wrong with me. Are you tired? You can go back to bed. Here, I'll tuck you in. Here. Look, if we look under there, she's going to be... I'll cuddle up. Okay, good night. She only sleeps if she's under a blanket. Um, Italian greyhound things. But let's get into the shower. 
Okay, so I just walked downstairs. My hair is like such a mess because it's just like damp still. But I'm now sitting. Oh, sorry. I'm sitting on the couch, and I guess my mom made dinner, so she's gonna give me. I think she. What did you make? Pasta. It's called cheese and pasta in a pot. Cheese and pasta in a pot. That's the name of it. Yeah. Coraline is here too. Hi, baby. Are you feeling better now? She's actually moving around, which is good. Cora, come say hi. Come here. She's ignoring me. Um, but yeah, after the massages, I just get so like tired. I think it's because like it's like kind of pushing my body to like get all of like the stuff out. I don't know, but it's something about it. They're like moving around. I'm moving around a lot more. Um, so yeah, and I feel a lot swollen, because if I don't have my faha on, I get more swollen, so. They all just keep hitting me when I'm here. Cora! Just ignore me. I kind of want to go to CVS, or like Walgreens, but I don't know. We'll see how I feel after I eat. Oh no, it's not for you, Cora. Oh, It's really nice. hot. Cora, come on. Come on. Wow. Yummy. I'm only allowed to have like a certain type of ground beef right now. It has to be like 100% lean, like no fat. That or chicken or like salmon and some other fish, but I don't eat fish. So I'm strictly just eating ground beef and chicken. So it's really good to have a lot of protein. So everything I eat, I try to incorporate some sort of like meat in. But I'm going to eat this and we'll see how I'm feeling about going to the store. Okay, so I'm about to go out of the house for my first time. I'm going to go to Walgreens. So, let's go. And this is the fit. I don't even know what these pants are. That for any of That's the skin johns. The fall hot underneath. So, let's go. Are you going in the front seat? Yeah, I'll sit in the front. Brandon hasn't oh, it's been so here dark. because he was at school today. You guys haven't seen him in any of the recovery videos, actually. Yeah, you have. I don't I think know. so. Is this crazy flash? <laughs> you want to put her in the car? Or do you want me to? Oh, I, I could have. So. I feel like it. paparazzi right now. It looks like paparazzi. Got it? Bye. See you at the store. Alright. I'm finally out in public again. There's so much I've missed. So many new things. Nothing new, but oh how I missed it. Since when do they sell this here? I use this and it did not do good for my hair. But besides the point, I didn't know they sold this at Walgreens now. Hi oh, hi. No, I'm sorry. Show oh, hold on. Uh, uh, uh. Chill. I know. You I was knocked out my hand. Vlog. I know how I vlog. I'm a vlogger. Well. Usually, it's almost knocked out my hands. I'll see you in that a second. That was scary. Wait, hold on. Post with the camera. Ah, I can't even focus. I'm gonna focus. I'm gonna focus. I'm gonna focus. Okay, so. Got the face wash. Now we're gonna go home. Um, but yeah, that's basically the end of the vlog because that's everything I did today. And that is my post-op day six. My hair is a mess. Um, tomorrow will mark exactly a week. So I go in for my post-op appointment on Friday. So two more days. And after my post-op, I'll be allowed to do a lot more. Because they'll like allow me to as long as I'm healing correctly, which I think that I am. But I'll see you guys. That will be my next vlog. It's probably my post-op appointment. So, I'll see you guys there. Thanks for watching. Um, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. All that stuff. See you soon. Bye.